Sister System is a early intervention model which works to empower, enable and enhance care-affected girls across their adolescent journey into womanhood. We provide eight educational empowerment programmes, things like peer mentoring, therapeutic mentoring, nationally accredited qualifications, resilience building workshops, advice information guidance sessions, and a community and network of sisters to help them overcome and recover from the effects of adverse childhood experiences. This is the My World activity that we do with the girls, regardless of what programme they're on. So I get the girls to imagine there's a planet and you could hand select everyone that you would like to put on and then reasons why. Let's separate some of the relationships and how we interact with these people in our lives and what these relationships mean to us. And then on the me planet, which I would have thought it would be the easiest planet, but it's actually the hardest one because the girls are not always sure of what they would have in their world, what actually makes up who they are and it kind of springs a lot of deep thought. I think for them it's just a realisation of, wow, I didn't know what I like and I didn't know what I didn't like and I didn't know that I had a choice. So ACEs for Sister System are experiences that unfortunately the majority of girls and young women who become embroiled in the care system have had to navigate themselves through. Because these ACEs often come through family connections, it creates a further complex barrier because it isolates her and it puts her in a place where she's incredibly lonely and the people that should be her support system and should be there to help her recover are unfortunately, in too many instances, the perpetrators. We see this mostly as violence against women and girls and domestic abuse, which she has been either the direct or indirect victim of. And so a lot of the girls and young women that we work with at Sister System are grappling with mental health issues and are unable to access the services that they need and or they don't have the trust in the services that they need because when these adverse childhood experiences are exposed and come to light, quite often the way in which statutory services intervene in the family and intervene in her world can in itself create more trauma. A lot of the time kids who go through care don't necessarily excel at school as well because of the uncertainty of life, they have other things going on and this is why we thought, you know what, we're going to focus on the care girls because our experience of working in schools, working with young girls, like Keller and I, the director, we realised that there was a massive need for that support for young people because a lot of people think if you go into care, you're getting cared for. You will have a home, you will have a bed, you will have food, but you need more than that. We kind of bridge that gap between statutory support. So when she moves from children's care to young adults care to independent living, we are still there. We are the consistent, stable support when everything else around them is forever moving. Their schools are changing, their social workers changing, their foster carers are changing, where they live changes, therefore their friends change. To have that constant instability when you're trying to discover who you are and enter into adulthood is just fraught with there's so many pitfalls and that's why we have strap lines like the big sister you never had that's what came out of our think tanks 17 care leavers sitting there telling me and the co-founders I needed someone like you I needed a big sister I needed a cheerleader I needed a wingman I needed a stable sustained person organisation that could walk with me on that journey and understand who I am and see me and hear me. All of our programmes are co-curated and co-facilitated by care affected girls. Girls graduate from programmes with their qualifications which then enable them to become paid big sisters who can then go on to become peer mentors to other girls or they might work in admin or communications and it's basically about creating a self-sustaining peer support cycle. My name is Shane and I'm the communications coordinator at Sister System. I was previously a big sister in 2019. I'm currently working on a flyer to showcase to the girls. So we have a woman activist who's coming in um, next week who's going to 
do a workshop program with them. So yeah, I've just made it a bit light and simple. A big sister, I will say, is the big sister that you've never had. Like the sister that can make you feel like you're in a place away from home. When I come into work and the girls that have gone through programs and are now on our payroll, and they are now beginning to fulfill their potential and believe in themselves. For me, it's, it's incredible. It's an honor, it's a privilege. Change takes time. I'm impatient and I know that it needs to happen now. We don't have the time, we need to do it. And I think that's what's made Sister System such a success as quickly as we have done because my attitude and the attitude of my team is we are doing it now, today, every day.